All right, hello everybody. This is Pat Dennis with Eureka, and we're coming at you today with another uh, quick Eureka demo showing you how we can use Salesforce Field Service and Eureka together to kind of manage um, a, a use case that we see quite a bit lately where uh, a utility company is um, receiving inbound calls from their customers uh, reporting power outages, and so they need to be able to dispatch a technician very quickly to go manage manage that issue and try to get them back online or just gather more information about what's going on. So with that said, what we're going to do today is we're going to I'm going to give you a little bit of a background here. So again, we're going to pretend as though we're a utility company. But the unique part about this use case is that let's pretend that there's been a pretty significant flood in the city. So we're going to we, we are receiving power outage reports, but they're more than likely be as a result of uh, water and flooding throughout the city. And so because of that, we're going to be dispatching our technicians out into the field. But there's kind of like this really special situation where they're going to be handling these these power outage situations uh, with flooding in mind or with flooding specifically being being the top of our mind. So the, the demo flow here is because uh, we've got to respond quickly to the flood. Um, we're actually going to quickly build a form uh, that is related to that has questions about a flood on it. So um, we're, we're going to have them answer all these questions in the field on their mobile device related to the power outage uh, and what they're seeing in the field with the with, with the customer. But we also want to start capturing some information very quickly about what they're observing in the field as it pertains to the water. So we're going to quickly build a flood related form. We're going to deploy that form out to those field users right away. And then we're going to dispatch a technician out of the field and they'll they'll see that new form in just a matter of minutes. So that's going to be our quick demo flow here. So with that said, let's let's take it over into live demo org and we'll show you what we got. So we actually begin right here in Salesforce where we're interacting with Eureka's form builder. So again, the whole concept here is we need to quickly build out a form that's going to allow our technicians to answer a bunch of questions about the flooding that's going on. So in this case, what you're seeing here is we're just dragging and dropping questions very quickly. These questions, they vary by question type and data type. Some of them are pick lists. Some of them are free text. Some of them are where we want people to capture photos, scan barcodes things of that nature. So we're dragging and dropping all that together. Now, let's go to our work types here in field service, and we can see all the different forms that we usually have for this work type of power restoration, but I'm gonna add flooding assessment to it for the next couple of weeks here. So now when we, when we do jobs of this type, we're gonna also have a flooding assessment that gets created. So let's pretend like somebody gives us, a, gives us a call, Lauren Bailey here. Lauren Bailey is one of our customers. She reports a power outage, and so we're going to dispatch somebody out to go see her. So what you're seeing here is the field service emergency dispatch feature, which kind of just shows us who is available in that area. We'll dispatch that user out into the field, um, and the moment that that happens, a work order gets created, and all the forms that we need, including the form assessment, are associated with it. So now we flip over to the technician, they're on their mobile device, they see uh, this new work order come in, they arrive, and they immediately get access to those forms and checklists, including that flooding assessment. So they're just going to tap in there, and right away, all of the questions that we just added on that form, when we were building that form a few moments ago, are right here. These are new data points that the technician is going to be able to fill out. We're guiding them through a process, we're giving them really cool tips about you know, flood safety that they can provide to residents as they're visiting them, them and, and working, working with them at their homes, taking photos, um, dropping in comments here. So you can see it's very, very quick for us to be able to build a form in Salesforce, hook it up to this work type. And then the moment that we start dispatching our technicians, they're now filling out this new type of form. Uh, right here on their mobile devices. And they don't necessarily need to know any different. They're just going to see the forms that are that we expect them to fill out um, as they're in the field. And so it's it, the, the lesson here is that it's very, very quick for us to be able to make those things happen. And then, of course, as soon as they fill out those forms, they come right back. We can come right back here in Salesforce and we can see all the data that was submitted by those technicians uh, while they were doing that work in the field. And of course, uh, Eureka works offline, so they could be going out without internet connectivity, they could fill out their form, but when they come back online, everything comes back here into Salesforce. So that's just a quick couple of minutes here where you can see an example of us 
basically using uh, Salesforce field service to manage our field operations, especially in a situation where we're experiencing power outages and we have to address those very quickly. But it also shows you an example of how the forms and the checklists that we need those technicians to fill out while they're in the field, we can make adjustments to them. We can rapidly deploy them um, without having to wait for long deployment cycles or um, or writing any custom code for that, you know, for that matter. So again, this has just been an example of us going through uh, a quick Eureka demo. So if you'd like to learn more, you can visit us at Eureka.io.